Surprise! Your girl got an apartment. And I'm catching feelings, baby. We are going apartment furniture shopping. I really only need living room furniture because I'm obviously taking this bed. I've only had this bed for like three months and I'm not about to buy a new one. This was pretty expensive. So we're taking this and the theme for my apartment, I'm kind of going for a gray, pink, silver, whitish kind of look, a girly apartment. Cause like my last apartment didn't really have a theme. Cause like my, I, I had a student apartment. I still have a student apartment, but this time I chose to get it unfurnished cause my last apartment was furnished. So I couldn't really give it like, I couldn't really have a theme because all the furniture already came with the apartment. So it was like, it was already made for me, but this time I'm doing it myself. And basically we're just gonna be taking everything from this room. My move in is in like three weeks. So I need to find a couch, like my dream couch. I've been looking for couches on websites and stuff, but I don't know since you, when you live in a college apartment, they don't bring the mail to your door. They bring it to a leasing office. And if they deliver my couch to the leasing office, who's gonna bring it to my apartment? like? Like how's it gonna get there? So that's why I wanna get like buy the couch and then put it in the moving truck when I'm moving there. So like it will come with me if that makes sense. Like my bed is coming with me. So yeah, so we're gonna go to a few furniture stores, find hopefully find the couch of my dreams. And yeah, I want a small couch because I'm only one person. I don't need a giant couch. Plus my apartment is smaller than my other apartment. Y'all gonna be surprised at the type of apartment I got. Like you're not gonna be expecting it, but it's a little the living room is a little bit smaller than my last apartment. My um so I don't want like a a three seat couch i want a two seat couch and i, I low-key want a two seat and has like an l like those type of couches but i don't know if they make those with just two seats the most every time i see them, they have three seats but that couch is really big my sister has that couch and i don't think it would fit in my apartment and still give me space you know a good amount of space so i want a smaller couch if possible so yeah let's uh, begin this journey to the furniture store Hi. Wow, these are nice. This is really cute. Do you, how much is this couch? Uh, this, please. Mm -hmm. uh, I really like this. And it actually goes through my bed that I already have. Okay, so that place was really small. Like they literally had three couches in there, which was disappointing. So I wanted options. Where did I park? But it's okay. There's a few more in the same area. So I'm just gonna go to those. I really like that dresser thingy because it matches my bed that I already have. But I don't know. We're just gonna have to see. And the lady didn't speak any English, so like, she couldn't even tell me the price of that couch, but that couch was too big anyways. I want a small couch, so. Whew. Okay, let's get on the road. Okay, so we're at the next, oh my God. Okay, so we're at the next furniture store. I'm about to wear a mask on. I just seen people walking around without masks and coronavirus still exists. So, I'm just gonna put this on. I have hiccups. Okay, got my wallet. Even though I mostly use window shopping today, like, <sighs> back outside in the heat we go. I hope you guys can hear me without me putting my AirPods in. But let me just put them in just in case you can't hear. Just to be on the safe side. Oh, I didn't lock my door. Somebody could have ran off with Amy. Oh my God, that would have been so sad. Two person couch. This is the type of couch I need. But a little bit higher. Because the back is low. This one's cute too, but. <sighs> oh, you have to buy them together. Why can't I just buy one couch? I don't need two couches. That's the thing. Let's see. Ooh, this is cute. This is cute. Oh, hold on. Now this is the kind of couch I need. Has a little 
thingy from the side. I actually really like this one. Okay. The rest of those couches back there look way bigger. This is the couch that's calling my name. This couch is calling my name. How much is it? $4.99. That's actually not that bad. Oh. Nobody has an L-shaped couch so far. Like, I want a couch that's shaped in an L. Like, if you guys know what type of couches I'm talking about, oh my god. That's the couch I want because it's going to fit in this space better. <sighs> and I haven't seen one yet. And it's making me mad. Because that's literally the couch I'm looking for. And I'm mad that I can't find one. Well, I haven't found one yet. Let me not say I can't find one because maybe I'll find one later. But I have something to do at 12. And it's literally... 11.40 just need to find a couch y'all like I already know most of the stuff I'm getting for my apartment like I have my bed I want to get a cute little dresser like that one I saw at the first store a dresser like that for the side of my bed and then I really like my room is already done because most of my room like is really just a bed like I don't really need that much stuff for the room but like my living room I have nothing I have nothing for my living room. That's the thing. Like, I need to find a couch. Because I want to get my TV mounted on the wall because I don't want to buy, like, a TV stand because that's going to take up space. I'd rather just put the TV on the wall. So I need to find someone to do that. I need to buy the TV. People were saying getting a projector is cheaper. But how are you going to put the projector on the ceiling? Like, and how do you connect it, like, to put TV, like, not TV, but, like, Netflix and Hulu? Like, how do you put that on the projector? That's another thing. Because I'm not trying to be plugging my laptop every time I want to watch TV. That seems like, mm. So I'm probably just gonna buy a TV from Walmart. Not like a really big TV. Probably like a 50 inch probably. I don't even know how big of a TV I need for a living room because I don't really watch TV in the living room. I always watch TV in my room. But since I'm getting an apartment and I can decorate it myself, I wanna put a TV in the living room because it will go there. It goes there, it makes sense. It doesn't make sense to buy a couch and there's no TV in the living room. Like, what was the point of the couch? If you get what I'm saying. I'm not doing dining room furniture because I'm using the dining room area for my office. So I don't need any room furniture. And if you guys don't know, I'm starting a second business. It's called Noyes Skin. And that's where my body butter line is gonna go because I don't wanna sell body butters on Noyes Mix anymore because it's just too much to keep up with. Like when I print out the labels, I'm like, oh, I'm printing all lip gloss labels, but then they're not. It's like people that order the body butter. And it's like, it's just better to have a separate business for that so I can keep. And plus promoting it on my lip gloss page is stupid because people that follow me follow me for makeup, not for skincare. So it's like, it's too hard to try to reach that second audience. So it's just better if I start a new page from scratch. So I already made my page. It's called Noya Skin. I'm hoping to launch in September. I'm not sure yet because I need to buy, I need to buy a desk. I need to buy like more office stuff, like more shelving and stuff. So y'all, yeah, I'm stressed because my apartment movement is literally in three weeks. And my mom is literally traveling out of the country on that day. So now I have to hire movers. Like she's still gonna help me in the morning, but she has to catch a flight. So she's not gonna be there all day. So I literally have to hire movers. And I'm scared because like, I don't want to be working with strange men. Like that just seems scary for me. And then I have to drive to the apartment, which isn't that bad. Yes, I'm going back to college. I thought I was gonna drop out. I really wanted to drop out, but my mom was like, just finish it off. Just know that you're done with it. So you don't have to go back. So yes, I'm going back to college sadly but it's okay because now i get to get an apartment because if i didn't go back to college i would still been at home for a little bit longer so going back to college equals getting to be on my own and getting to have my own apartment so it sounds like a win-win for me anyways even though i don't really like school that much but if my business blows up like how i'm bringing it blows up i'm dropping out I'm just letting y'all know now so yeah let's try to find this next furniture store if i have to go to where i'm supposed to go out to Okay, so now I'm heading into Walmart to see if maybe I can find some shelves. So I'm gonna need some new shelving for my living room, for my body butters and stuff like that. So let's see if we can find some I low-key should have got a basket because I really could buy stuff today, but it's like, I just wanna look for stuff 
So then when I come back, I know where everything is, if that makes sense. Like, I was like, my mom's house is already full of all types of stuff I'm planning to take. So it's like, I don't want to keep filling up her living with all of my moving stuff. So I need a shower curtain for sure. So I'm pretty sure I want my, my restroom to be pink. But I don't know because the apartment has dark cabinets. So I just don't feel like pink is going to look good. I feel like white would be better. Why is this mask keep coming on? I feel like white would low-key look better. But then again, I don't know. So... I know I want to get um, organizers too, like for the shelves. I saw someone do that and they look so nice. And I want a clothes rack. I don't think Walmart sells clothing racks, but. Ooh, Walmart sure does sell furniture. Maybe I'll find a couch here. Let's see. Ooh, they have rugs. I have one of those. Okay. Ooh, I need an office chair. I definitely need an office chair. Okay, look at these. What is this? Ooh, a desk. And these, I just hate the fact that it turns into a bed. Like, the fact that it turns into a bed makes it so ugly to me. And I, like, I can't get over that. That part that it makes into a bed, it makes it ugly. But then not really... They don't really have anything. Now I'm kind of mad because I need to know all the stuff I'm getting. So then when it's time to buy everything, I know where to come. I definitely want one of those bean bags, but I need like a pink or a white one. It would look good in my living room. Kind of bummed. I didn't find anything that I'm looking for. I'm not sure why it's so hard for me to find what I'm looking for. Literally, like, I have three weeks to find living room furniture. My living room is going to be empty. And like, now I have to get movers. Because, well, I already told you I was going to get movers. But this situation is like just getting more complicated by the second. Like, the movers things make me worried. Because for number one, like... The movers keep saying, like, two companies already called me, and they're saying that I'm because I'm only moving out of one room. Like, I'm not moving my mom's entire apartment to my apartment, if that makes sense. Like, I'm just taking my room, and they're like, that's their pricing is based off of an entire apartment, not off of one room. So, they keep saying it's gonna seem really expensive to you because you're only taking a bed and a, and a desk, which sounds like something I should be able to do myself. But my bed is really big, so I don't know how I would take it apart and carry it in my small car like it's not possible. And I'm not old enough to rent a U-Haul. And I, I don't feel comfortable driving a U-Haul either myself. So it's like, I need movers because I need someone to do it for me. But their pricing literally is like $150 to $200 an hour. But it won't even take an hour to pack up my room. That's the thing. So it's like, most of them say that you have to pay for four hours, but... It won't even take four hours to pack up my room and unpack it at my new apartment and drive there. It won't take four hours. So it's like I'm I'm spending unnecessary money, if that makes sense. Like I'll literally be spending 400 plus dollars to move, which is like it's expensive for no reason. Like, so that's kind of my dilemma right now. And I'm hungry. Like I want to eat Chipotle, but I've literally bought food every day this week. Literally. Seafood sounds good. But if I was gonna get seafood, I should have ordered it when I was inside of the inside of the store so it could be done by the time I get out. Because now if I go there, I have to wait for them to cook the food. And I hate sitting in there and waiting. Like it's not like it's just weird when you're by yourself. People are looking at you like, girl, you came here to eat by yourself. I'm like, no, I didn't. What should I do? I think I'm gonna order the seafood. BRB. What if my, oh, I think that's my mom. My mom just drove back. <laughs> Thank you for my signature. Thank you. Oh, Thank you. you. Gotta check real quick. I ordered a pound of shrimp. And I got a side of rice because I saw on TikTok that people eat their seafood, like the spicy stuff at the bottom, they eat it with rice. 
Or they put noodles, but noodles seem a bit too much for me. So I got rice. So that's what we're about to eat now. I'm about to zoom home. I definitely know that was my mom that just drove past in that car. So, yeah. I'm gonna go home. My house is literally 10 minutes from here. But it's on the highway. But it's okay. Do you live in Houston? LA Crawfish Shack. It's better than LA Fisherman if you ask me. LA Fisherman was my favorite at first, but then when I tried this place, I was like, no, this place is definitely better. LA Fisherman, they use a lot of garlic, and I'm not really a garlic fan, even though I know people put garlic in the base for the um, seafood, like the dip, but they use way too much LA Fisherman. Over here, they like put a little, like you can barely taste it. So yeah, LA Fisherman, I mean LA Crawfish, this is spot, and it's affordable. This meal is only $12. For a pound of shrimp and a side of white rice was $12, so it's definitely affordable. Okay, let me just end this video off now so I can eat my food. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and tell me what you want to see on my channel. And I'll definitely bring that to you guys. It literally sounds like I'm speaking gibberish when I say my outro. Like, literally, it sounds like gibberish. But yeah, I'm about to eat this food. My pound of shrimp house special medium. Yo, I used to eat spicy all the time, but... It started making my stomach hurt bad because I was eating, that stuff had too much pepper and I kept eating it over and over and over. So now I have to eat medium like a wimp because I don't want to be in pain. And my mom got me these digestive pills because yo, when I tell you, my food would not digest anymore. Like that's how much pepper I ate. Like I'm sure I ruined the lining of my stomach. So I literally have to take digestin, digestive pills now <laughs> so my food can digest correctly because if, if I don't take those pills, my stomach will hurt. Like even if I, I eat bread, I don't eat bread, but if I ate bread, like, it will make my stomach hurt, literally, if I don't take the pills now. So, don't eat too much pepper, guys. You're going to end up like me with no stomach whining. Mm, yeah. <laughs> okay, love you guys. Peace.